How's it going guys? This is Luke from Coffee House and today we're just going to do a quick impressions video of the fellow Ode. I'll turn that around so you guys can see it as well. So here it is. Um, and yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of jump into it and you know, take my first impressions, um, just kind of like from a physical appearance perspective and everything like that. So I mean overall, obviously this looks amazing. This looks, you know, reminiscent to the EK43, the Malcona grinder, but also 10% of the price. And um, you know, it also shares the very similar and very simple design language of all of the other fellow products. Um, included in your purchase, besides this cute little wooden brush, is um, the top to the hopper, which gives you a nice little guide as to what these numbers actually mean on the front of the grinder. So jumping into this a little bit more, um, obviously you're going to see here on the faceplate, it gives you the indication that fine and coarse are your two settings, which is why that exists up there. Um, inside of the hopper really quickly is it's a about a hundred gram hopper. So, you know, made for a, a pot of coffee, maybe two if you really wanted to, but this is made to be used as a single use hopper. That being said, once you put your coffee in here, you're going to select your grind size according to what this is and what your own research uh, deduces and you'll run it through. This button here um, actually makes an audible beep, which is actually pretty nice when you turn it on. And then it runs through your coffee. Uh, in conjunction with that, which is pretty unique to this grinder, there's not a lot of home grinders that do this. This actually has an auto on off function. So when you turn this on, it's going to turn off when it's finished dispensing grounds. Um, you also have a knocker here, which is also something that you don't see on a lot of home grinders, which is why you know this raised $1.2 million on Kickstarter. Uh, that being said, you have your little kind of vestibule here, uh, you're the, you know, the little container um, that allows you to accurately kind of just take, you know, your grounds from here. Um, it's going to be more of a challenge to fit other non-native fellow objects under here um, just because of the size clearance. But that being said, I think this is a great piece to have. However, um, there's these fins in here, which I feel like some people will like and some people won't. Great for an aero press or great for the actual fellow stag products, um, but maybe not the best for like a V60 or something like that. Grounds tend to get caught up there. Maybe if they made them a little steeper, uh, it would have been a little better, but I'm sure they have their reasoning. This isn't the first time they've done a coffee product. You can see on here, a magnet and a piece of metal. We'll hold that in place. And it also comes with a bit of a like static dust shield that'll fit seamlessly under here. So that'll slide under there. You'll click this on off. Um, obviously it's a very straightforward piece, but I really, really like the fit and finish of this. Um, this guy's metal back here. The entire top plate is metal. This is plastic down here in the back plate and top plate are plastic, but all of the really tactile features are metal for the most part. This base plate, which actually comes off to allow you access to all of the screws to change the burrs, is metal. Uh, the actual ground select is metal. This is just clicks in like that. This is metal. The cup is metal. The only thing that's not metal is the button that you actually touch and this. Um, overall, I mean, from a physical appearance perspective, this is an amazing looking grinder and we're happy to have it for testing. We're happy to have it in our store coming January. And overall, we're happy that Fellow came up with something that really challenges the grinders uh, convention and kind of challenges the grinder market to really innovate and pushes them forward in a really great way. That being said, um, we're gonna be jumping into this grinder a lot more, both on the internals and the electronics and the actual physical mechanical nature of this grinder. And we're also gonna be comparing it to people in its price range and also other similar grinders that are way out of the price range. Uh, we'll be testing ground the grind size, we'll be testing the taste of coffee, everything like that. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to a quick, uh, you know, first impressions of this fellow Ode grinder. We can't wait to jump into it more. And again, uh, yeah, just thanks for coming along. My name is Luke from Coffee House and I'll see you next time.